Hello, Internet people. Time for, yet again, another card unboxing. Uh, looks like we're out of Star Trek for the moment. So we're going to go with this box uh, of NXT Tops 2021, which has 18 packs with 7 cards per pack. Uh, and it guarantees 2 autographs per box. Uh, it looks like uh, there are 55... Uh, Available choices for the autographs. I mean, ideally, I mean, of course, the picture here is of uh, Scarlet and uh, Killer Cross. So that would be the best pair. But I'm going to guess based on, I'm going to get something stupid like Ashanti the Adonis uh, or another uh, Casey Canzaro, which I've gotten before. But let's, let's uh, see what we get. Although, uh, there's a picture of, uh, that's what the pack looks like. Uh, and it's got, what is it, uh, Joaquin Wild and, uh, Raquel Gonzalez. Is it Gonzalez or Rodriguez? I can't remember which one's the original name. And Finn Balor on it, for some reason. But okay. Collect all... Two. All the MIGS Media One art cards. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the base set here is a hundred cards, so we're not gonna get it. Uh, but let's see. Looks like we got uh, Damian Priest winning the, the North American Championship. Remember when that happened? And then, uh, oh, Liddy defeated, defeated Oni Larkin. And, uh, Keith, oh! Oh, totally this was barely two years ago when there was that awesome program between Donovan Dijak and Keith Lee and Damian Priest. Uh, but, so there's a purple parallel. And then, uh, here's, I guess these are, we are NXT roster cards, which is a different set of cards than the regular ones. So there's Timothy Thatcher, who I never liked. He came and went with like a year. Uh, and Oni Lorcan, uh, Biff Busick, who I met several times and he was pretty cool. Uh, so he's carrying across to beat Dominic Nijak. Uh, and Brazongo defeats Imperium to become NXT champions. Sure they did. Looks like there's two of these weird roster cards for a pack. So, all right. So, oh, Johnny Gargano turning on Tommaso Ciampa. And uh, Keith Lee defeats Damian Priest again. And then, oh, look, Jake Atlas. Uh, is that DJZ? I forget. And then here's Dave Mastiff from NXT UK. Sure, I'll take your word for it. I don't watch NXT UK. And then... Oh, I, I, I guess it looks like... Yeah, I'll get there's, there looks to be... A whole subset. Oh, good. Okay, that's why there's a Finn Balor on the box. There's a whole subset of Finn Balor cards. Yeah, there's the ten Finn Balor cards, and here's one of them. Uh, him doing a sling blade. Brazongo becomes number one contender. And Damian Priest defeats Timothy Thatcher. Sure. A lot of sideways cards in these. Sam Cameron Grimes earned his spot in the North American Championship ladder match. And then he didn't do any good in it. Uh, but Damian Priest defeats Austin Theory. And El Hijo de Fantasma wins Group B of... Oh, win the Interim Cruiserweight Championship. Alright. And then, yeah, here we go. I knew I'd get Ashante the Adonis. Blech. I I didn't I didn't get hit row at all. It's not for me. And again, I say, Candice. 
And maybe it's just that Candice LeRae has resting bitch face. But again, I can never... T- I've seen her in person several times. I think she's... I can never tell. But uh, congrats to her and that baby. Uh, Pete Dunn returns at Halloween Havoc. And Dexter Lewis and Cameron Grimes compete in a blindfold match. Oh man, when I was a kid, I was so dumb. And I fell for it completely. My favorite blindfold match, what, what was it? Uh, Rick the Bottle Martell and, and Jake the Snake Roberts at WrestleMania 7. Oh, looking back on it now, that match was trash. But uh, I, I loved it back then. Alright, so here's uh, Damian Priest costing Jenny Gargano a rematch. Uh, the way... Oh, remember when Johnny Gargano was in jo- when had his own group, The Way? Uh, and then, remember when Leon Ruff worked there? Anyway, here's Shanti Blackheart. Which I love that Sh- Shanti Blackheart went from being on, um, like, Shimmer. And then she went to TNA for, like, a month. And then she went right to, N- to NXT. It was crazy. Uh, and Roderick Strong. And then, oh, look... Here's uh, one of those art pieces of Santos Escobar, and Roderick Strong defeats Dexter Loomis. Sure, and Jake Atlas defeats Tony Nice. All right. Nope. Okay. Oh hey, look! It's it's Ever Rise or uh, or three It's like hey, I recognize that guy. Which yeah, how much did it like that? You know, they went from apparently three uh, point was very big in Chikara, uh, and then they went to NXT, and literally the day they were released, they were they were in a, a, a featured footage package of them attacking somebody else, and then they're like, nope, you're fired, and then they just they went to uh, to AEW and they've been tearing it up recently. So his North American Championship, Keith Lee defeats Donovan Dijak, which he did like four or five times. And then, oh, how much of a bummer was it that uh, they brought Kushida over and nothing happened? Although it's not as much of a bummer as uh, Hideo Itami. Uh, and then, yeah, sure, okay. I'll take your word for it that he works there. And then another Finn Balor coup de gras tribute. And then uh, El Hijo de Fantasma. And Keith Lee, again, beating up Donovan Dijak. Looks like that's probably probably going to be a thing in this set, is that's going to happen a lot. All right. Oh, yeah, okay, I, I remember uh, Tim Thatcher defeating Riddle in, in the NXT fight pit. Which, that should have gone to Riddle. And, like, literally, like, Tim Thatcher was, like, gone, like, a month later. But here's uh, Drake Maverick defeating Tony Nese. Okay. And then here's, uh... Pearl of Kushida, Kushida defeating Timothy Thatcher. And then Drake Maverick and Cameron Grimes. And then Finn Balor defeated, uh, Timothy Thatcher. And uh, Santos Escobar defeated Swerve. It's, it's amazing how many people that, even though the set is, is less than a year old, the number of people who don't work in NXT anymore is far more than you would imagine. But then again, they fired a shit ton of people during the pandemic, which is ridiculous. And then, yeah, there we go. And, oh, okay. And, Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! All right. Okay, okay. We, we did good here. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to jump right to it. Here is the official, and this is, here we go, one of one. This is the actual black printing plate used to manufacture that card. It is a one of one collectible autographed. By Candice LeRae. Holy shit. I actually got one of the best fucking things you can get in one of these boxes. Holy shit. This is amazing. I can't... uh, Take it back, Candice. You're hot. Wow. Okay. This is amazing. 
I I never thought I'd get one of these, but that that's fucking cool. The fucking printing plate that is a one of one. No one else has this. I own that. That's that's fucking cool. Okay, let's. All right, let's let's regroup. Let's just take a second. Whew. Regroup here, and continue. Because I I was all excited because just in the box was uh my 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 deep seated crush of uh of Scarlet Bordeaux, uh, and I was just happy that that was card was in the pack. But that's okay. That's amazing. That's that's got to be the best insert I've ever got. But let, let's let's continue and see what our other autograph is. Um, oh. Okay, uh, NXT North American Championship Johnny Gargano, then Bobby Fish, and Yulia Dr Dragunov. Then Johnny Gargano defeats Austin Theory. Tony Larkin and Danny Burch retain the championship. Um, I'm out of it now. I'm sorry. That's the, that's the high I've been trying to catch with these is catching something like that on tape, and it finally happened. So that's good. And then oh well, then I found the second one in the next bag. Uh, not nearly as good. So uh, you take you take the highs with the lows. So anyway, so here's Kushida defeating Cameron Grimes. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly becomes the next number one contender for the NXT Championship. Uh, and then, let's see, here's uh, a Kyle O'Reilly roster. And Joaquin Wild roster. Which, now, that's DJZ. And then Jake Atlas defeats Drake Maverick. Oh, and then, yeah, remember Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano in the brawl in the, in the Performance Center? So that's great. Okay, so we go. From the one of one printing plate signed by Candice LeRae to this authentic We Are NXT card of Fondango. You take the highs and the lows of these. So, Candice LeRae one of one printing plate with Fandango. But at least the box is guaranteed to. I've never had one with, with more than two. Um... Let's let's keep go. Let's let's see what happens here. Although, okay, that's interesting. Only Lorcan and Danny Birch become the tag team championships. Tag team champions. They can't become the championships. Those would be belts. That doesn't make any sense. All right, uh, we already did that one. All right, there's Fabian Eichner, and then okay, here's Karrion Cross, and then here is a, another artwork, and that's Io Shirai. And then, yeah, Karrion Cross beating the shit out of Damian Priest. And Dexter Loomis defeats Timothy Thatcher and Finn Balor. And then just... I, I don't get it. People try to explain it to me. What is up with his tattoos? Like, rather than just getting them blacked out, you could have got a cover-up piece done. It would have made far more sense. I don't know. It's like, oh, hey, remember Bronson Reed when, when he worked there? Uh, and here he is, uh, defeating Roderick Strong and Johnny Gargano. And then, uh, oh, yeah, can, can we, can, we know that's her name. Can we call her Piper, I've said this before. It's Piper Nevin. It's Piper Nevin. It's not Dewdrop. Can we just call her that? All right, so then there's Tyler Bate. And then, uh, hey, look, it's Bianca Belair. And then Legato uh, De Fantasma defeats uh, Drake Maverick and Brazongo. Oh, so that must have been a, a trios match. Look, look. And Tommaso Ciampa defeats Leon. Well, Leon Ruff just came out of nowhere, won the North American Championship, and then was gone. Like, too much late. Like, again, that's one thing I, I, uh, I particularly don't like about NXT 2.0. Like, people will come in with, like, no bona fides. Uh,. And, like, I'm supposed to like them. I'm like, you you haven't even had a cup of coffee here yet. Alright. So here's, uh... Nope, I believe we did that one. Here's Kushida defeated Tony Nese. And, up. 
Here is also Kushida defeated Todis, but that's a purple parallel. And then oop, a sideways Dakota Kai roster. Same with sideways Austin Theory. Uh, and Karen Cross defeating Austin Creed. And Imperium defeats Undisputed Era. Alright, uh, Dexter Loomis defeats Roderick Strong in a strap match. Karrion Cross defeats Danny Birch. On a purple parallel of Damian Priest defeats Austin Theory. And then Io Shirai and a Marcel Barthel. Then uh, oh, Finn Balor returns and then there's my babe. And then here's here's all of the way is uh, North American champion D Johnny Gargano, Gargano defeated Leon Ruff. And oh man! All right, so this is another one. I've I've mentioned this a couple times. So Tops makes these boxes, uh, and you expect the box to be fully full. But then, I don't know if you can, uh, let me swap to the first one here. So, like, he, here's this box of cards, and it looks like, oh, it's full. And then you tilt, and then they put not one piece, but two pieces of cardboard in here to fill it out so that the, they can make the box bigger and not put as many cards in it, which is kind of horseshit. But, all right, so then, uh... And we're running through these fast. So that L. If we did that one. Alright. Here's Dexter Loomis defeats Roderick Strong via count out. And then there's a Santos Escobar roster along with Zia Lee. And then a Finn Balor. Which. Look, look at those. Those ads are fucking creepy. They would, they would turn a man. Alright. Uh, Finn Balor defeats Adam Cole to win the NXT Championship again. And then, uh, oh, this was when Damian Priest was North American Championship, and then he beat Johnny Gargano. All right. Zango defeats Everrise, which is just a sentence you'd never expect to hear, but all right. And then, oh uh, yeah, at War Games, Tommaso Ciampa defeats Timothy Thatcher. And then they earned each other's respect and went on to be a tag team. And then here's a purple parallel before Kyle O'Reilly becomes number one contender. And then, boom! Adam Cole, baby! And then Indy Hartwell. Karrion Cross defeats Keith Lee to win the championship. And then immediately hurt himself. Then uh, Cameron Grimes def attacks Dexter Loomis. Alright. Alright, that's good. So let's see. Roderick Strong and Danny Burch defeat Fabian Eichner and Raul Mendoza. I don't know why that was a tag, I don't remember. And then Legado del Fantasma, just winning. And then a uh, purple parallel of... Did they, did they ever get a tag team name? I don't think they did. Oni Lorcan and Danny Birch becoming the new tag team champions. And then here's roster cards for Raul Mendoza and Tony Storm. Oh, yeah, I uh, Adam Cole and Finn Balor finish at a tie at the end of that four-way Iron Man match. I remember that. Adam Cole defeats Dexter Loomis. Who? All right, uh... Then Keith Lee won both titles when he was North American and Tag Team Champion, or, or NXT Champion. 
And then Karrion Cross defeats Tommaso Ciampa. And we just did that. There's a purple parallel of that. And here's Trent Seven. And look, I, I maybe don't pay attention every week, but every week I put on NXT. Uh, in the background, Baby's on, and I, and I kind of pay attention. Uh, but I have never seen this guy. Ever. So, is is he hanging out now on the main roster with? Uh, not to be racist, but kind of. Um, is is he hanging out with Jinder Mahal? Probably, but I've I've never seen him. Uh, so here's Damian Priest attacking Finn Balor, and Kushida defeating Jay Gatlas. All right, two more here. And then, oh, okay. Johnny Gargano winning at Halloween Havoc to become two-time champion. Brazango defeats Imperium and then a roster card for Caden Carter uh, and Raquel Gonzalez. And then just while I'm here, and I, I briefly spoke about her, Kate, Katie Canzaro. How s stupid is it that they changed her name from her name, which we all know, and that's why she's a wrestling, is that she was on Ninja Warrior as Katie Canzaro. But now she's Katana Chance. I appreciate that they, they put, you know... Uh, they they should really if they're gonna be a tag team, it's it's her and Caden Carter. They should just be called the KCs, and it's you know, Caden Carter and Casey Kanzo or Katana Chance. So anyway, it looks like here's a set of people who got called up and then got fired. There's Jackson Riker. Dexter Lewis defeats Cameron Grimes in the Haunted House of Terror match. Oh, that was that was a bad match. And then Damian Priest defeats. Dexter Loomis. And here we go to the last one here. Oh, that's a little bizarre. All right. So Akira Tozawa picks up a tournament victory in... Must be the Interim Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. Uh... Because, yeah, because it looks like here he is defeating uh, Isaiah Swerve Scott. And then here's a purple parallel uh, of Cameron Grimes winning his spot in the North American ladder match. And then here's Robert Stone, or Robbie E. And then Marina Shafir, who I don't think ever had more than, like, three official matches in NXT. But apparently it's my understanding that, that she was doing a lot of work on up, up, down, down, which, okay, sure. So Johnny De Gargano defeats Tommaso Ciampa. And uh, NXT champion Adam Cole also defeats Tommaso Ciampa. So that's all. A little disappointed uh, in the amount of... Uh, hold on here. In the amount of carrying cross and, and Scarlet Bordeaux I ended up with. But, again, I did get... Fandango, which, yeah, sure, okay, but, oh, again, check out that bad boy, that's the actual black printing plate, one of one, I'm, I'm, I don't know how else I could, short of getting, like, the four autograph fold-out cards of all the divas, uh, or, or, or when I finally get that, uh, that kiss card of Alexa Bliss, I think that's probably uh, the best the best I'm ever gonna get. So, one of one black printing plate. That's that's an amazing find. That's probably worth a, a good bit of money that I'll have to check eBay. I'm not gonna sell it, uh, but it would be just be interesting to know what the retail value of that is. But yeah, so there we go. It finally happened. I got a kick-ass insert card. You all got to see me blow my mind a bit. Uh, so I I now have to calm down. Because uh, I'm still riding that adrenaline rush. Uh, so that's why we do these, is, is to see that happen. But, uh, alright, thanks everybody. Keep watching these. Uh, and, and that's what you tune in for, is you never know what's going to be in one of these boxes. And one of one printing plates. Who fucking knew? But there you go. So, okay. Thanks everybody. Keep watching.